day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. So, so, but the, so, but I guess the question, like these, the pictures of those two swords, you see, they actually dig the ground and put something in there. And the question I was saying is, so why so on on different grounds instead of good ground? Because we're not talking about a garden, right? We're talking about you, right? The heart of man. Well, you think about it. Think about this. On any given Sunday morning, what kind of people show up for church? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You got, you got some people come to church upset. You got all kinds. Of, you don't know. You don't know who gonna show up. <laughs> you don't. I mean, you got all kinds of grounds show up on Sunday morning. Yes, sir. That's the point, right? Right. And you I don't. These are these are standing there. And he's got his disciples. He's got some people who have started following him. He recognizes, I got all kinds of soil right here in front of me. Right in front of me. I, I got, I got uh, wayside, stony, stony. I got all kinds. He probably didn't list all of them. <laughs> no, I, these are the most common ones, right? So, so, so that's why I want to make sure people understand that the, the soil is sowing into us. And he he cares about all of us as far as he's sowing. And then here's the, so back to the CTI, mine was, and the bitch elder got his too, uh, when you're ready to look at it. And you just saw Brother Jackson. So once again, it's a kingdom source, God's word. And then the devil took from the wayside but he cannot on good fruitful ground. He cannot because that has roots enough to bear the temptations, bear the uh, issue that goes with it. I, I put in those scriptures in Matthew 9, 12, which said, when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that be whole need not a physician. Uh, oh, who's oh, the idea is this? Mine is, that's mine. I'm okay. just showing the scriptures that goes along. I'll see it. Oh, where is it? You, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the screen. You don't see nothing. I see your scripture. Move your, move your. You see the scripture. Yeah, I see. You. Uh, was that Corinthians twenty? The King of Sword. Okay, you got the same text. My bad. You just quote scripture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unless I got the wrong seeing. thing in it. What is it? The king of swords, so God word. Okay, you quote scripture. Yeah, there, nine, there. Nine, nine, 13, yeah the CFP is number one. The king okay. of swords sows God's word. The devil took from the wayside, but cannot on good, fruitful ground. And then I was noting that there's four different areas of grounds here. And one was good ground but then you had thorny ground and everything else. And the question I started off beginning was, why is he, why not he just sow on good ground? Because he's talking about your heart. And it's basically there's errors in your heart, right? This has stone thorns in it, got I, ground in it, right? Those, I was, I was looking. Yeah, and that, 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 that was saying is so we need to be made whole. And then I'm saying is in Matthew, 9 12 and 13 when jesus heard but the, 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 the first day, why is he up there with all those sinners bishop he was in you know uh as he went to i guess akia's house or somebody's house or, Ma, or levi's house mm -hmm. and they were saying why is he in there with all those sinners yeah. <laughs> and, and, and see they're missing the point because jesus said that i didn't come to call it i i don't know about yeah. john did not call I didn't come here. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I've not come to call the righteous, but the unrighteous or the sinners to repentance. So I have well, a question. Is the unrighteous good ground? Yeah, I, definitely. I, I'm yeah, going, definitely. Those, those, 
who proclaimed to be righteous in that like stony <laughs> yeah <laughs> stony that was ground. a stony ground <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but but what i think we're sending and saying is that in your heart those are like i think you brought it out is there's good ground uh, uh, and there's some uh, um, bad ground you're you're you remember what scripture where he said, I, I did not come to judge the world, but to save it? To save yeah. the world. I, I think when, when he's looking at us, uh, and, and he's setting an example because we're disciples, right? Uh-huh. When we broadcast, and, and I, I looked at the word broadcasting, and there's a method of, uh, of sowing seeds. Just throwing stuff, just throwing seeds out across the ground. You're just, right. just spreading them out. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, we don't know the conditions of the person's heart, and neither are we really. You can put yours back in the bishop. I, I took mine down so I could see yours. You, we're not. We're not called to back, judge the conditions of the person's back, heart. Put yours back. Is it showing? I'm sorry, El. Did you? Did, where's your share again? You shared, Elder. I mean, Bishop. Uh huh. He shared. Is it still like, there? It's up there. It's up there. Okay. See, I I I text you. Mine. You did? One second. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here's Bill. Okay. Can you see that screen? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, so what I did, I saved all my iterations. Um, I, I think there'll be a lot of thought that goes into these things. And so every time I wrote a CRT, I just, I just revised it. And at some point, I start to make sure that everything that's in the parable, number nine is my attempt to make sure that everything that's in the parable is inside of my, my CIT statement. Uh, but, let's see. Number 10 is the one I think that, uh, is the one that I think kind of really is the is the kind of the final one that I would think about, and it says the coming and flourishing unto increase of God's kingdom. This past tense was determined by the heart, the hearer's peculiar heart condition mm -hmm. upon conceiving God's word. Yeah, the peculiar heart condition, and now, yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm very particular about this last phrase, God word, because what I really want to say is God spoken God. word. And I, I think through all the rest of them, I talk about God spoken word. But for the sake of, I don't know how many words this is. Yeah, the last one you remember we talked about, we had 21, but it's okay. <laughs> 21 words. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I do I can do crazy things like I can make this one work. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, I make this one work. I make peculiar heart condition a <laughs> hyphenated word. Uh-huh. And uh <laughs> or, or I can make this one work. Heart condition. <laughs> I make this one work. <laughs> But it, but anyway, I, I think that kind of captures I think everything. What I did in, in, in the one above, you see, I went back through and made sure that everything, all these phrases that I use actually address something that's in yeah the text itself. Right. So increase increases in there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. The coming is where the seed is sown. Everybody that heard it. Yeah, everybody that flourished, mm -hmm. including those that increased, are included in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but 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 it's the peculiar heart condition that determines whether or not you get to the increase. Yeah, yeah. So see, so once 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 we have now, if if you don't have kingdom in there now, right? I'm still of the opinion that if you don't have kingdom somewhere in there, you kind of miss that whole thing. Because this is, is, in fact, though it is not stated in this particular parable, if you read all the other ones, you'll find out that this, this, this word of God 
is actually a kingdom word. Yeah. I agree. You it is that. it is the gospel of the kingdom. And so you could very well say, uh a soul report the soul of the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But and, but to get there, you see, I went through a whole, I went through several iterations, and I think that when you when you uh, that when you uh, I did the same CRT, thing. It'll be good for you. It'll be yeah, good for I, you. I did to capture all. Yeah. The, but what's happening is, what's happening? You're thinking, and yeah. God, and you, yeah. and you. You go back and you rethink it. I go back and read back over it again. That's okay. Okay. And yeah. somehow, the yeah. boy, you dwell on it. And I submit, yeah. you come back and look at it for 20 years from now. You're probably going to say, oh, yeah. man, that's all I saw. Yeah. Yeah. I missed something. I got something else. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I know, I, I, and I wish I did like you, Bishop. You know, each one, I, I, I should have just written down and numbered them as you did because it, it, I revised that thing and I switched words out and I added things to try to encapsulate it all. And, uh, but I just, I didn't, I didn't keep them all in, in one place. So right. I, I, I'll, I'll try and remember that. I, I do like that, that prog progression to your, to what you believe is the, the fullness of what you got out of that what you believe that scripture was scripture was saying so that i i do like that that progression factor now yeah. once you once you get the cit if you believe that this cit is really the meat of what jesus is saying now when you read other scripture other scriptures have to come have to be in yeah with. Yeah. yeah they yeah. cannot contradict they cannot go against they cannot mm -hmm. undo this is what i found to be what solomon what solomon called Line upon line, yeah. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Precept. Here, a little. The word of Amen. God itself is one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I, I, Amen. I, I like that. I like that, and I and I like that each person is sharing what God has given them personally, so that we can have a a bigger picture. Bigger picture. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and we can see how God is influencing one each other's minds. It's just like the the the, the uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, how uh -huh. they parallel, but they are, you know, they're saying the same thing, but in different ways. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think that that is great. I really now, do. We need, talk, we need to talk a bit about accountability. Now, if you come with your CIK and said that it, what Jesus is really saying here. That if I sold money into this ministry, <laughs> I can expect I can expect a fruitful increase in the end. Mm -hmm. See if you if you come to if you come to this session with a see I can say that I will look you squarely in your eyes and say God I spoke to you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got money. So it's in this ministry. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do with money in no yeah. shape, form, or fashion. Is money yeah. in here? Right, right, and 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 that's and that's a given. I mean, if you come something off the wall, it's gonna, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Exactly. Now, now, believe it or not, now you got some people who will come back with a CRT for this thing and say this thing is about sewing and all this going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, no, this ain't got to do with sewing. No, this ain't got nothing to do with you giving it to a minister, now. Yeah. This, this is particularly talking about really talking about conception in the heart of God's word. Exactly. Yeah. Did you get okay. mine, Bishop? You money you I'm, can't uh, see your heart. And money, give me, your money giving giving money to somebody ain't gonna cause no conception. Well, it might cause conception, but it's the wrong kind. It ain't God's kingdom. Yeah. Here, here's on text, brother Addison did his on text. If you want to look at it, y'all want to see it. I try to put it on my email. It hasn't come in yet. I want to show it on the screen. Uh, All I gotta do is share a screen. We look at it. Look at it on my phone. 
Yeah, he can share his phone screen if he ain't got no pornographic stuff on there. <laughs> that ain't none of your business. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, sorry. I repent. I should have asked that. I should have been your business. Oh, but you're in the kingdom. Your business is my business. Yeah, you're right. You see your phone. I, can't, I think he. I can't well, get it. I'm trying to I'm trying to send it to the thing, but it's on your me, phone. It's on your phone, cell phone. Let me see if I can. Uh, this is gonna be kind of hard to see mine. Yeah, I can see it. No better than my camera did. I can see that. But I had a virtual background on mine. Yeah. I can see that. Detailed information process given on how God's new covenant of the gospel affects the heart and the minds of mankind. Detailed information. You're shaking a little bit like you're an alcoholic, but I can see it. You <laughs> <laughs> do cut his finger down, though. <laughs> well, that's 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 mine. But after revising, revamping, uh, that that's what that's my final draft. So you chose you see you chose New Covenant as a representation of Kingdom. The New Covenant slash the gospel okay okay see i can see so, i can see kingdom in there yeah you know I, i'm gonna have, I'm, I'm stressing but i can see kingdom in there i got it it's, it's in there outside, but you got king i can it's, see kingdom in there it's in there <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you see one of the things we got to do is you see we we want to hold each other for we want to hold each other accountable for the truth because yeah, that's what's yeah. gonna help the body yeah I, I, I ain't mad for all the other de de derivation to come, but ultimately what we have, what Jesus said, if you continue in my word, be my disciples, yeah. You, you yeah. shall be my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth. Right. Yes. And it the shall truth will make you. The truth will make you free. And I like make. that. I always told people, I say, I like the fact that that sounds like there's, there's something, there's a force behind it. And, and, and so anybody comes sure. in, an alcoholic or anything else, homosexual, you name it. If you continue in this word, that word will make you free because that word will make you whole. Because that's all he's trying to get you to do, be holding that word. My word shall not return to me void. Come on now, Amen. that's the whole point. It's that but it shall accomplish. Yes, sir. That's why it's so important. I think, like you said, is that that's what people are missing up is that discipleship we're not discipling people to continue to abide in that word or in this case I think what we got out of the day was be made whole we're not discipling people to learn to become whole letting him be the foundation and hey, we got to bring we got to bring the other back maybe on that yeah no, no. Well, yeah, we got it. Hey, hey. No, no, I'm oh. still in. I'm still Hey, in. that brother was in the spirit world. Leave him alone. He was hey. with Jesus. <laughs> no. He hey. was with Jesus. Hey, Heather, go share. Hey, I hope no more. Heather, show, show me your CIT. All right. He going to share with y'all. Let me get out of the screen. You see it? Yes, sir. Yep. Got it all pretty. He did. <laughs> yeah, got a blue background. Got a fish in it too, and everything. Fish in it. He is a PowerPoint slide. <laughs> that's, that's a government PowerPoint slide. <laughs> <There> it is. <laughs> he. Let's say so. Yeah, I used to do a lot of briefing when I was in church. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> The kingdom of God is advanced through the preaching of the gospel. Preconditioning of the heart and ears to receive the gospel is required. And, and so he's saying is that the preconditioning of the heart, I think as brother asked, let me see yours and say some hearts and mind. Yeah, I, I, I will have a recommendation for you. If you will put to kill you in front of preconditioning, you'd be on the target. Say again. 
peculiar. The word peculiar because yeah, you see, the thorny ground and the stony ground all receive the word. Yeah, and yeah, but they, they do for the fruit. But so yeah. they were they were preconditioning, right? But it's the peculiar preconditioning that brings forth fruit. I call it the wholehearted preconditioning. The whole heart, uh huh. Because that's the whole point. Is it's the it's the all of them receive that word. It's just the hardness of the heart or the condition of the heart determines its fruitfulness or its fruitfulness at all. Right? That's the whole point. It's our heart. So he's sowing into the heart of man. And in most people, there's some type of condition in man that's impacting uh, the person's fruitfulness. So what, I, so what I'm saying is, is that we have to be willing now to, to have some accountability. Once we have come to this thing, because what we want to do is, we want to help each other. We want to let God try to use us to edify one another. Yes, what sir. We, what I want from you is truth. Yeah. What I need from you is true. And so Ephesians mm -hmm. chapter in Ephesians chapter four, one of my favorite chapter, he said, but speaking the truth in love. Yeah. We may grow up in him in all things. You see, that word truth now is is is, is essential to any kind of growth, any kind of deliverance, anything that where you want to make advances and increase in the kingdom of God, you're gonna need God's truth. Yeah. Not this. You know, I, I don't want to bring you my opinion. Yeah, you know, I, I, when I bring I, some, when I bring something to this group, you better believe I don't spend some very serious time. Now, I might be jacked up, yeah. and it might be wrong, but it won't be intentionally, and it won't be because yeah. I ain't spent no time thinking through it. Yeah, and really seeking God to find. Okay, what are you really saying? Hey, Amen. You know, I think this is. Go ahead. Yeah, you can stop sharing. I think Ellen, Ellen know how to stop it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> hey, man. I, I had to figure out that. I found this one on the red button. Up there. I thought, oh, that's it. <laughs> Ellen, that's, that's the key right there. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, Because I, I, I'm more interested in the... God, I got out of this today with A, the, 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 the soil, the ground, uh, the people. So I, I I would like to have all the CITs, you know, on, on top of each other, uh -huh. so that I could just see them, each one, and then I can grab that group and in and, and, and that group of words, see what what God is speaking mm -hmm. to all of us. Right. They, and, and what we can do is, uh, I guess everybody got to send me on email. Uh, you'll see it on the video. <laughs> but you right, have to group it all together. Because like this, we got 10. Yeah, um, but he, he chose one. Yeah, he chose yeah. one. You want, but you want all 10, don't you, or not? No, I want the one he chose that, that, that he had, he had compressed that's with all the other information that he progressed to yeah. that where That's he said final. this this is the final draft yeah. I, I i think that would be uh helpful as well this is this is a uh a, gr a great tool it really is and uh it just makes me go on a whole nother level of diving into god's word to allow him to give it to me in a way to where I can regurgitate it, right? To encapsulate what he's given to me. Now so, I'm gonna say this to you. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna say this. I believe that when Jesus starts this story, I believe he starts out with one thing in his mind he's trying to teach. Mm -hmm. And it take all of these, it take this whole story scenario to get to get the message across. But I think he's got in his mind a very concise, compact kingdom truth that he's trying yeah. to spread. 
and mm -hmm. he used the story to spread it. Because he yeah. knows if he gives the statement as it is, they ain't going to have no clue what he's talking about. No, no, not at all. So he breaks it down to something that they can understand. So basically what I'm saying, I think Jesus started out with a CRT. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because to me, I'm saying that God think is that, okay, we're representing him, right? He is the sower. That, well, we, do we all agree on that? Yeah. Christ is the sower? Yeah, he's the sower initial. He's the initial sower. Right now, I, I believe he is the seed. He, he is, is both. He is both. He is both the seed and the sword. Now, now I believe he is the spoken word. Yeah, <laughs> he is the manifestation of the spoken word. But that's true yeah. too. Now the question is, all right. Now, and are you a sower? We are sowers. Are we agreed to be? I, I have, I have sown. You have sown. So we are sowers too. Uh, representing uh, Christ, right? You were called to the sowing yes. ministry. Yes, of reconciliation. <laughs> now yeah. you are you are called to the story. You are called to the sowing ministry. The preaching yeah. is sowing, right? Preaching is sowing yes. for the God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. And so what? I, so to walk away because so, hey, Jesus, <laughs> thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, because I think it's important for for anybody even here too is that we sow, but we sow into the hearts of man and understand that they have different conditions in their heart. Well, I take one thing: that word can be sown in their heart, and moving from them and the, the from one ground to the next. Yeah. I think that is a process of the renewing of the mind. The renew the mind. You know, and to the point to where, you know, God's word uh -huh. takes precedent exactly. over over what you've been accustomed to and what your what 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 your uh, habits. You Come move on. from habitual to God ordained. Yes, you know sir. What I'm saying? I do. But there, there, there is a uh, there is a point where like, accepting the seed. Is the the, the 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 initiation of a new birth? Yeah. The, 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 they had to be here. To be. Now I'm not making it wrong. This, so I'm just throwing this out there for debate. You, you, in order to be born again, you must receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Yes. Am I right in that? That's the start, right? Okay, yeah. that's the start. And then, yeah. as we receive Him, then our minds are beginning to be transformed, or renewed, in order to understand the principles of the kingdom. And, and it can I, in one place. Uh, ask something for you. Can I interrupt you, Anderson? Because that next phase you're talking about is, is that discipleship or the individual? Yes, yes, oh. yes. I think that's the discipleship because with prior to the new birth, you can't be a disciple. He says the, the cardinal mind is not subject to the things that God needs tend to be for their spiritual discern. Yes. So we have to make that spiritual connection before Come we on. can begin that, that spiritual growth or actual Come discipleship. On. Come out. Uh, there may be uh, uh, attempts, you know, like we spread the seed, we spread the seed, you hit you one time, you're this, you hit you one time, you're another, you hit you. But if finally, we hit the optimum condition and the seed is now, uh, it begins to germinate. It stays sir. it stays planted and, and it begins to germinate. And that, that's the new birth. Yes, sir. And we go from that point to discipleship. Discipleship. Because and, I think. Because I think they hit uh, Brother Addison in the Luke one. Would you think that that fertilizer is discipleship? Yes, I do. I really do. I think it. I think it is a discipleship because uh, you, you know you get that word and you you get to moving and then you get to that thorny ground. Yes, sir. And the world, the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness thereof, yes, sir. and the lust of the flesh, yes, sir. begin to poke that word Come to on. where it doesn't have precedence in your life. Come on. You're not yet a disciple. And then no. that discipleship is, you know, digging around that word now. and nourishing that word. Fertilizing that word, yes, sir. And yes, and 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 bringing it to the forefronts of your mind with a new perspective. Come on. And then you grab hold onto that, and that could just 
it can deliver you out of that Come situation. Out. They can transport you out of them, them weeds and thorns Come out. Come into out. some good ground, or they can be like Roundup. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but 